Hey y'all and welcome. My name is Tiffany. This is our small town life. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. I have some crock pot recipes to share with y'all today. This is part of a collaboration hosted by two of my very good friends, Sammy over at Manage in the Maze, Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life, and there's lots of great creators here on YouTube taking part in this collaboration. There'll be a playlist for you down in the description box so you can go get a lot of great ideas for crock pot meals. I have a few to share with you today. One that's a brand new recipe, came up with it myself, and we really, really enjoyed it, y'all. Really enjoyed it. It's one that's getting written down in the recipe book for us to do again and again. Then the other is taking it back traditional. Sometimes I think we get away from the traditional things, the things that we used to always do because we're looking for something new. We're looking for new things to try, new ways to do do things, and there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it's nice just to go back and do things the way we used to do them, and break out some of those traditional recipes, so you're gonna get to see one of those today. And then the last recipe is a hot chocolate. I shared a hot chocolate in my last crock pot video, which I will link for you. Uh, it was a white pumpkin hot chocolate that was delicious. Thank you. Bringing me his drink. The last hot chocolate that I shared was a white pumpkin hot chocolate and it was so good. When I shared it, I had several people say, I don't really like pumpkin spice. And y'all, I don't really care for pumpkin spice either, but I liked that hot chocolate, so you might wanna try it. But this one is my all time favorite. It's one that my mama made. I think she made it for Thanksgiving last year. Oh my goodness, y'all, it was so good. The best hot chocolate I've ever had. And it was made in the crock pots. Salted caramel hot chocolate. Oh my goodness, y'all, it's so good. I can't wait to share it with you. So without further ado, let's get on in to the recipes. So I'm not real sure what we'll call this. We'll call it French onion gravy meatballs. No, that's a lot. Let's see, we'll call it, we'll call this, me and the, me and the boys are sitting here talking about what we should call this. Uh, we're we're going to call it onion gravy meatballs because it has French onion soup in it and some gravy mix. So we're, we're going to call it onion gravy <laughs> meatballs and we're going to serve it over um, egg noodles tonight. Starting with a cup of milk, one can of cream of celery, I was going to thaw out two cups of chicken broth and add in here. But I think what I may do instead is make a cup or two of beef broth. One cup of beef broth. Y'all, the kids are coughing and I suggested the elderberry syrup and they were not excited about it. The reason why is we've been using a, like a store-bought elderberry syrup and they do not like the way it tastes. They're like, Mommy, you gonna make some of yours? Which I am. I harvested the elderberries off of the elderberry bush that's grown by the garden. And I'm gonna make and can some elderberry syrup because they do not like that that I got, that I bought. One packet of French onion soup mix. One packet of country gravy mix. I put my meatballs in, toss them around. As it cooks, I will decide if I think it needs any more liquid. Like I said, I'm this is this is a Tiffany original recipe. So as it cooks, I'll decide if I think it needs any more. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper in. And a two pound bag of the home style frozen meatballs. I've been using this crock pot so much lately I actually had to wash it to be able to use it today. 
All right, there we go. Let's let her cook all day. We are at six hours right now, and this is right where I would like it. The gravy has gotten thick. I need this to go for another hour or so though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on warm and I'm gonna go ahead and add another half a cup of beef broth in it. This is where you can just do what you wanna do, y'all. I mean, whatever consistency you like. If you want it thicker, let it be thicker. If you want it thinner, add some extra milk, some beef broth, some water, whatever works for you. This right here is exactly where I would like it. Like I said, I need it to go a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna put it on warm and add a little extra beef broth. This was delicious and it was a huge hit. We will be doing this again for sure. And I also think it'll be really good over mashed potatoes. I'm cutting up some vegetables for my roast in the crock pot. And I wasn't going to share this today. I wasn't gonna video putting this roast in the crock pot because it's like, you know, it's just, it's traditional roast. Roast in the crock pot. But then I got to thinking about it and I was like, I haven't done this in a while because I had moved away from doing this what's traditional to me i had gotten where i was always doing mississippi pot roast or trying something new and i am going to put uh, an onion soup mix on top of this to season it today which isn't something i usually do but for the most part we're going traditional with the carrots and the onion and the potatoes these are some potatoes that we grew this year and i thought i'd show that so that one, you can see how I do it, and two, maybe you've gotten to a place where you're trying all the things and you just need some inspiration to go back and do something the way you used to do it. This is a chuck roast, and I've tried doing this with all different kinds of roasts, and let me tell you right now, my mama makes the best, the best roast in the crock pot. I'm telling you, it. It's hands down the best I've ever had. And even when I try to recreate it, mine's good, y'all. Mine is good. But I'm just like, Mama, what am I not doing that you are doing? I even just got off the phone with her to be like, double check in how you do this, how you do that, because I want to do it like she does. And I'm going to salt and pepper it really well. I know some people will sear theirs before they put it in the crock pot. I've never done that. Mama's never, to my knowledge, Mama never did that. And so... Now, this is what we do. I'm gonna open my onion soup mix and put just a little bit, probably a quarter to half the pack on top of the meat. Then I'm gonna put in all my vegetables. I have an onion, it's cut into big chunks. Do a little bit of the onion little potato, some carrots, and I'm using baby carrots today. I also like to use whole carrots, and usually I don't even peel them. I just, as long as they're organic, I just chop them up, put them right in. Some more onion. The rest of the potatoes. Carrots. Some more salt and pepper. The rest of that onion soup packet. And about a cup of water just to get everything going. Put this on low and let it go all day. We are working on some hot chocolate. Audrey's helping me. This is the best hot chocolate, y'all. My mama made it a while back and it was so good. I'm excited to have it again. We've got Two cups of chocolate chips in the crock pot. These are semi-sweet. The original recipe, I think, calls for milk chocolate chips, but we're using semi-sweet. And then we're gonna use four cups of whole milk and two cups of heavy cream. About three 
three fourths of a cup of caramel sauce. We're getting real specific here. We're doing an eyeball method. I'm gonna put this on low for about two hours. We want the chocolate chips to melt, everything to warm up, and then we'll add in the last few ingredients, which will be about a teaspoon of a coarse salt and a teaspoon of vanilla. seeing these recipes today maybe it gave you some inspiration maybe you just enjoyed hanging out with this simple southern gal in her kitchen if you're not already subscribed i sure would love to have you as part of our family around here you can hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a video we sure would love to have you and if you're already one of us you know what i'm gonna say before i do don't forget that this video is part of a collaboration check out the playlist down in the description box i love you I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Sometimes I think my southern accent flows a little thick. Y'all, one of these days I'm going to learn how to talk, and y'all are going to miss my southern accent. <laughs> Goodness gracious. No, I, I ain't changing. I ain't changing. That is going to whoop me, y'all. Come on, now. Last, did I, what did I just say? Did I just say the last? Did I say hot chocolate, or did I say pumpkin? I don't know. Let's just try again.